Before we begin the video, I would like to extend a big thank you to our new Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Will Broughton, Josh Combs, Crazily Insane, Jacob Chapman, Mark the Electrician, Chowla, Michael Hawk, Dubba Minus, Tracerman, Blake97, Squirtle Bob, Graffiti Turtle, Thorian, Benjamin William Chapman, One Daxter, Lee, Jan Nuss, Carson, Nia, Stephen Mueller, Carol Zhao, Angel Morales, John Beck, Joshua Teese, Dominic Cuomo, Chris Stafford, Vastel, Shkodran Yesaj, and I would also like to extend a big thank you to our executive producers, The Anime Hybrid, Joshua Fix, the Gimpster 101, and Bevan Brummett. Thank you all very much for your support. If you wish to become a YouTube member, click the Join button, which is right beside the Subscribe button. And if you wish to become a Patreon supporter, click the link below in the description to find out more. We'll see you there. Gotcha. Yes, yes, it does. Oh, 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 Why are you son of a? Oh. Wild card, bitches! Yeah! Really? I need health. Ah! Didn't matter. Sorry about that. It took us a couple of weeks to get back to. The Game Grumps, uh, fun then dad moments, uh, we, bye. We forgot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, on top of, you know... We were trying to finish Castlevania. Yes, day. that was the big thing. Quinn really wanted to finish Castlevania, and I was like, all right, let's do four episodes. And we did four episodes. And then we kind of regretted it. Well, kind of regretted it, but at the same time, I'm just like, season four, win. Win season four. I want it in my eyeballs right now. I... See, it was a. I don't. It was see, a trip. I don't feel like we could have done two episodes that day. No. Like, even if we that was the goal. Impossible. Because of the way that episode would have left us, we would have both been like, "We're not actually no. stopping, are we?" Yeah, I'd have just been like, <laughs> "Let's go, let's do this." I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, watching Kenzie slowly drag their way through it has been so painful oh i can only imagine you told me that they started uh season three and here i am and i'm just like go on and you're like no that's literally it they, they just started season... the first episode now i can't convince them to keep going it's not that they don't like it they just haven't been in the mood <sighs> you just want to strangle you just want to strangle Every them and time. Just, it's just like it's just like finish castlevania and they're, and they're just like i I've taken no, to pestering no. their best friend about it because if Goku watches it, Goku's going to want to talk about it. And Kenzie's going to be like, well, I guess i got to finish so I can talk to Goku about it's like, it. Hey, it's like, hey, Goku, yeah? you want? Have you have you watched Castlevania? No? You should watch that shit. I literally okay, cool. messaged him every 24 hours for like three days, like, did you watch it yet? And he finally downloaded it so he could watch it at work, and I'm just waiting now. And then all of a sudden, Kenzie's going to be like, hey, Quinn. You want to finish Castlevania? And you're just like already there with a bowl of popcorn. Down the stairs. Yeah, you just hear the. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of our like little rituals is like if Kenzie has time before work or on days off or whatever, we either order food, cook food, something like that, yeah. and sit down and watch something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And normally it's the new Mr. Beast video, but like occasionally I could talk him into an episode of Castlevania or something. Um, but we try to like take turns like hey you need to see this yeah and mr beast videos always take priority though because we both just like them so they're much. mr beast videos go figure uh well they're so fun yeah and, like it puts you in a good mood when you watch a mr beast video and we yeah. all need that right now <laughs> i think everybody needs so. that so yeah um, just like avi yeah avi puts me in a good mood always because how precious he is but all right we got part two here there will be a part three so, uh, yeah, uh, Dan's dad, funny moments, and let's begin. Whoa, look at Knurt, he's growing up. I know, dude, he's getting big. Yeah, good for you. He's getting huge, man, and he's 
start eating more. Oh, I remember when I killed my first animal. Wait, hold on. I need to buy some po- wait, hold on, what? <laughs> what did you just say about animal on, killing? Go on, it's not important. You, you we can't move past that, Dan. can't move on from that, dude. No. I have never killed an animal. You need to chill oh, thank out goodness. In fact, to, to show you what an amazing pussy I've been my entire life. Okay. Um, I... Days. Whoa. <laughs> there was a fly. There was like a little fruit fly once when I was a kid. And like, it was kind of like on my like desk. Uh-huh. And then it flew onto the floor. And I was just like on the floor looking at it. And I was like, hello, little fruit fly. And then my dad came in and he was like, hi, dad. And he like stepped on it and killed it accidentally. Did you cry? And I cried. <laughs> oh, my God. Crazy. Oh, a fruit fly. Hi, Dad. Hello. And I'm like, Murderer! Aww. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's the degree to which I could not deal with animals getting hurt. Look, dude, you just fucking rock that guy. Oh yeah. You know, I never found these guys hard, and then I watched. Them oh yeah, the boom booms. People playing Mario Three. Because mm-hmm. this was a game that like I really like. I was inundated by when I was a kid. Really? Like it was just like the only game I had. Do you say inundated? Yeah, uh, where I'm from, we say inundated. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Primary difference there is that Dan is from New York, whereas Aaron grew up in Florida. So That's very different. Yeah, inundated, inundated, yeah. Also, uh, also, Super Mario Brothers 3. I remembered when I, I, I played through it all the way, but I have never, quote, I have never had such a fun time playing with my my si- my my sister and my cousin Josh uh, in the basement, and I'm just like, all right, two flute speed run, let's do this. So the secret to it is, you go through the first level, the first world, and you pick up two flutes along the way, two magic flutes that actually can take you to a level skip. You don't immediately use them. Instead, what you do is. You go to level you as soon as you beat the first world and you go to the second world, you use the magic flutes then. But of course you want to build up your like your inventory so that you'll have enough to get through to where you can beat uh beat the last world, in which I did, and that when I when I beat it, my sister and my cousin were just like ah! Oh my gosh, you did it! You friggin' did it! I'm like yeah! It was like one of the greatest moments of my life. Uh, I'll just never forget them just like, like pretty much just like celebrating, jumping up and down and everything. My grandparents came downstairs, wasn't sure what was wrong, and they pointed at the TV, and, or, and my sister pointed at the TV. He was like, Nate beat the game, Nate beat the game. He beat it fast, so fast, you should have seen it. And my grandma was just like, well, that's all well and good. That's good. You want some, uh, you want some, ye- you want some, uh, yellow cake? All that's making me think of is how hard I worked recently with the uh, the uh, All Stars that came out. Yeah, I. This is very out of character for me. If anyone has ever watched one of my gaming streams, this is you're not going to believe me. But I actually got all 120 stars and beat Super Mario 64 by myself. Like, that I that like okay. I'm not saying that you're not a legit gamer. I'm not a completionist normally. But, yeah, you've never really been a completionist. I'm like, I want to play the story, get through it, like... Yeah, but you you going through it and finishing it, that's awesome. I was Quinn. super proud of myself, like, for sticking uh, with it. Because I got... I almost stopped um, trying to get the um, 100 coins for one of the levels. It took me, like, was 20 it, times. Uh, was it one... It was, like, the one where you had to get on a clock? shell. No, that, that one also put me on... <laughs> Yes. I ended up literally clock. I ended up literally going all the way to the top getting everything I could and then just dropping myself down where the red coins were until I had hit enough of them. Yeah, yeah. Because I couldn't do anything else cuz if I didn't have it moving, I couldn't get it to the top to get the big coins. That's But fair. if I had it moving, I couldn't get the red coins. And so I was sitting there like But no, there was this level where you had to get a it was like the ice one with the big snowman head. Yes. Yeah, and you uh, have to get the shell to get inside of that little secret place, mm-hmm. or you, there's not enough coins. Yes, but I kept hitting shit with the shell oh. because I was trying to grab other coins on my way, basically. Yeah, and I had to like be patient and be an asshole about it, basically. And it took me like <laughs> twenty minutes. God, yeah, but I'm proud of you. Good it job. Was, I was Good really job. proud. And Kenzie's like, 
wow, that's really out of character. Congratulations. And it's like rolling the credits. And I'm like, look at all those friends that like are I met. And I'm like kind of remembering all the levels. And Kenzie's like, yeah, look at those friends. And I was like, I guess the real stars were the friends I made along the way. And Kenzie fucking got up and left the room. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately kill the mood with a meme like, and move on. That's that's exact. That is so you. It, it was. I was proud of myself. I really was. I worked really hard on that for like two weeks. It's like hilariously derailing <laughs> one liner, and then it proceed. Everyone proceeds to leave the room in disgust. It was. It was good. And then Yoshi was like, "Sup, fucker? Here's some lives." Yeah. Uh. All right. Anyway. Uh. Back to this. Florida. <laughs> You I'm crazy. Florida. You're so crazy, Florida. Yeah, we say, we say car. We still say car. No, that's Boston. Fuck me. What do you, what are some other things that you say? Do you say clicker? Clicker? For a remote? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, actually, I have my own made up word that my dad created called chick chuck. <laughs> chick chuck? John, uh, hand me the chick chuck. Because, uh, whoa, I'm still in Big Town, I forgot. Yeah. Um, yeah, because we had, like, one of those really, like, old school, uh, dang it. Oh. Nice one. Got it! <laughs> uh, yeah. We had one of those old clickers when I was a kid that would go chick chick. So my dad was like, it's that chick chuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Avi. Don't ever change. I love my chap, dude. You are really fucking just slicing through these things. That's because I'm really strong, so I'm gonna switch to something that's not as strong. Splart, go burnt, turnt, snacko, butt nuts. As my dad would say, you're cutting through them like a hot butter through knife. Is that what he said? <laughs> and he just gets, like, sends backwards all the time. <laughs> you'll uh, cut through them like hot butter, butter through knife. That knife didn't stand a chance against a sharp, sharp knife. Uh, and, oh god. Uh, and. Voicemail. I fucking deleted it. I, just, I knew I shouldn't. Uh, but he left me a voicemail. And he was like, "Hi, Don." Uh, 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 bye. <laughs> really? Yeah, just thirty seconds. Oh my god. Nothing. That's amazing. He's my favorite. <laughs> my dad, like, uh, is the king of stories that go nowhere and barely qualify as stories. <laughs> so we were with my other uh, relatives in Israel. And my mom's a huge baseball fan. She loves the Red Sox. And her favorite player was a guy named Nomar Garcia Power. Is that where you got Yeah! What do you Nomar Garcia Power. My, my dad liked him. No, I liked sports way before. And I... I, <laughs> I liked sports before my mom liked sports. Yeah, I was, in, I was in before it was cool, and my mom liked it. <laughs> uh, no, I was, a, I was a football fan. I'm not really a baseball fan. But she, she loves the Red Sox, and her favorite player is Nomar Garcia Power. And, uh, and so, like, my, my dad was telling the story, like, to our other Israeli relatives. He's like, so that's her favorite player, and her email address is Debbie Loves Noma. <laughs> and, like, my other Israeli, like, cousin who, like, barely speaks any English was like, that was a good story, Abby. <laughs> 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 That's the only response he knows to yeah. like, hearing a story. That was a good response. Or a good story, Abby. <laughs> that was a good like, story, wow. Abby. He barely knows the language well enough to drop some fucking biting sarcasm on my dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh my god. I got a wacky brain, man. It does all kinds of things. I got a wacky brain, too. <laughs> oh, what? Or ew. Oh, it just sounded like you said ew. Eh. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? Some fucking like old English word? <laughs> no, it's my dad. For good or bad. Aw, you candy. Aww. And not fist it. I would never dream of that. Really? <laughs> I remember when my um uh when my dad came in and I was playing the broken EP by Nine Inch Nails. And it was like that part. Oh, fuck, I can't say it. God damn it. <laughs> you can say the lyrics really flatly. Okay. Bad luck. Fist fuck. <laughs> and like my dad walks in, he's like, I'll come back later. <laughs> 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 it's much better if you can sing it. Okay, did, did you ever have one of those embarrassing like music moments where like 
very, very bad things were being said, and you were just, like, shying away, like... My dad uh, used to let me listen to My Chemical Romance on the way to my therapy Oh, God. Um, and I was playing The Sharpest Lives, and I was, like, 14, so it was just a cool song to me, you know? <laughs> And dad's like, hey, what is he talking about? Is he talking about drugs? No. Well, what's this mean when he says this? Well, I don't know. And, like, he's just, like, dissecting the songs the whole way, apparently. It's, like, a 40-minute drive. He was letting me listen to him, too. And so my dad probably knows a lot about My Chemical Romance, so I don't. Oh, gosh. And, uh, that was probably my moment of, man, he really thinks that I know what they're talking about. <laughs> and so uh, now I unfortunately do. <laughs> The one for me was when uh, I was uh, I was a kid and I I burned uh, like I burned CDs uh, for people because my parents uh, they got a CD burner back in the day and as soon as some of my friends found out I had a CD burner they're like dude can you get this for me can you I do used that to for burn me so many CDs oh my god dude god fucking iconic I'm sorry go ahead. When Danger Days came out by Michael Kermit, I was in high school. I fucking burned that shit like 20 times. Just started passing him the fuck out. I was like, here, you gotta listen to this. <laughs> yeah, for me, I got like Korn's greatest, like like my favorite Korn songs. And I put them all on one, like on one CD. And uh, my dad was curious about the band. Because there was bands that I would introduced him to that he really liked. He loved Linkin Park. He liked uh, Limp Biscuit. And I remember when I introduced him to uh, Corn, I played Blind, you know, and it's uh, it was awesome. But then I forgot that the song that came right after Blind, I was like, "Yeah, Dad, this is like Corn's best songs." Like, and as soon as uh, as soon as like we were done with Blind, I was like rocking. I was like, "I'm going blind," and then all of a sudden, I was like, "All right," was, and my dad was like, "That was pretty good." And it goes right into Twist. Now, Twist is a song. Uh, have you heard it? I'm I'm it's, not sure if it's it, the one I'm thinking. It's of. the one that goes <laughs> like right at the beginning, and all of a sudden, my dad was just like, "What the Sam hell is that shit?" My dad used to say that Gerard Way sounded like he had his foot in a bear trap. <laughs> <laughs> my dad said Robert Plant, the lead singer of uh, of fucking Led Zeppelin, every time he did like a really high pitched scream, like he said, "Yeah, every time Robert Plant hit that really high pitched scream." You know what he did? He slammed his hand in a car door. I I distinctly remember 14-year-old me being offended. My dad was like, what is this? It sounds like he has his foot in a bear trap. And I just go, he's from New Jersey. Like, yeah, my dad's like, and? Like and? So is Bon Jovi. But I, <laughs> I was going to say, if I was your dad, I'd just be like, so is Bon Jovi. But I could still understand what the hell he's saying. <laughs> He could understand what I know. I'm just MCR I, is me, different. Well, I know, I know. I'm not gonna say any. I'm not. I, I'm just being. I've totally just being an played asshole. like a of my cement or bring me the horizon or something in the car, and him, he'd be like, "I literally don't know what they're saying," and I would just start saying what they were saying. He was like, "So did you study the book? Because like, there's no way you got that well, out of that." Well, like, well, here's the thing. My dad liked pretty much anything that he. I like, I remember he loved heavy metal. You know, he loved like Metallica, Anthrax, stuff like that. He also liked, uh, what was it, uh, he also liked semi-harder rock, you know, like eat more easier listening rock music, like Van Halen and stuff like that, and then he loved rap music, like, he loved Notorious B.I.G., he loved Tupac, he loved the Ghetto Boys, I remember my dad singing Damn It Feels Good to Be a Gangster, and I just could not stop laughing at the idea of my dad, Mr. Blue Collar Working Class Dude, he's like, Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. <laughs> a real gangster ass plays his cards right. A real gangster ass don't start fights. My <laughs> dad, like, uh, his favorite was Willie Nelson. He's like a bluegrass oh, gospel God. type of guy, you know. Uh, that was my that was my grandma on my mom's side. Yeah, well, my parents were sixty. I mean, well, yeah, 50, your parents so. were a bit older. Than... My parent, my mom had me in the late thirties. My dad was like late forties, so. Yeah, my dad was 19 when my sister was born and 22 when I was born. Yeah, my parents are like your grandparents' age, I guess. Exactly. So. No, no. <laughs> no, effectively. Uh, uh, it's, and I'm 10 years younger than you almost. So. Yes, pretty much. Wow. Um, okay, <laughs> let's let's get back to this. Welcome back Whoa. to Boulder guys. Look at that guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, Love that Boston <laughs> Galaxy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like, I was told this was taken! 
I know, I know it's, uh, <laughs> I know no one really rents videos anymore, but he has the look on his face that my dad used to get, like when he realized that the blockbuster videos were overdue. Like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, he's drinking, like, fucking booze, and then he's spitting fire at you. Oh, the Chippendales uh, Capcom game. Like, who's bad for you? Makes you breathe, breathe fire. That would make me want to drink it, honestly, if I was a kid. <laughs> I'd be like, dude, I can breathe fire if I drink booze? Fuck yeah. Oh. But I'd be like, I'd be all like, I can breathe fire if I drink the bad juice? God damn, this fucking game. Yeah, these uh, games were the difficult. Bad juice. What are we, children? It's... it's they're called daddy sodas. <laughs> daddy sodas, oh god. Daddy sodas. That's what we call beer in my house. Really? No. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Amazing. Don! What'd you do with my daddy sodas? <laughs> sorry. My dad, now on tour. On Broadway. <laughs> Himself. The four obbies <laughs> on Broadway. Like the fucking gorillas, but it's all your dad. Oh, man, you're <laughs> Somebody, some VFX wizard. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm feeling angry. No. I got sunshine. Every time he gets a long vowel, he goes, eh. Hey, <laughs> I love that so much. Way, I wanna ride it all oh, night long. long. Gimme, 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 yeah. Does he really say that? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, my God. I used to have... <laughs> he just reminded me. I used to have uh, I used to have the CD single of that song back really? in 1991. Was it, it was the EP? No, no, just just the um, just the single. Yeah, just the song and the B side. And um, what was the B side? I can't. You think I fucking remember what the life in the highway cassette B side? <laughs> Love oh, is a CD. highway. Um, it was CD. I, because uh, my it used mine like had a scratch in it, and it used to skip like right at that gimme gimme thing. Yeah. So it'd be like, I wanna ride it all night long. Gimme, 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 and it like made me laugh so much, and my dad would get so pissed. He's like, Dan, what is that noise? Okay, that happened on one of my dad's records, or my dad, well, not record, but CDs. Uh, it was a. Skid Row's, uh, I will, uh, I'll remember you. Oh, no. It was, uh, whenever he, uh, went into the high note, like, and I love, like, it immediately started to skip. It was like, and I love. That's fair. I remember that happening. It happened to the stupid, God. obscure CD my brother had. And no one's going to know what I'm talking about. But it was KJ52. And it was like a song about Mountain Dew. And so the skip basically just caused him to keep saying, I want Mountain Dew, I want Mountain Dew, I want Mountain Dew, over and over and over. Um, that's, that's, I like that. It was something else. Uh, I, another one was um, uh, one my sister had. Ricky Martin's Live in La Vida Loca. I is not familiar. It was a. Uh, it's like, dun dun da da dun dun dun. It's like upside inside out. She's oh, living that. la vida loca. Yeah, and my sister, it got stuck in the friggin' CD player, and we tried everything we could to get it out. We used tweezers. We used all that. Wouldn't come out. And then eventually, we played it once after we'd like scratched the hell out of it. It was like. Woke up in New York City, 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 city. <laughs> Gosh, is is uh, I'll never forget that. <laughs> <laughs> like we never get to the yeah, yeah. <laughs> so before this uh, started, uh, before this episode started, uh -huh. you were like, "Hey man, have you ever barfed on a family member?" Oh yeah. As a matter of fact, I haven't. Have you? You're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I barfed on my mom. 
So why don't you share that tale while, as we ride? <laughs> it's not a tale. It's just it's the con. It's, it's just saying it is funny. It and is then funny. when it's like there's a story, it's like I don't know. I was barfing, and then my mom was like, "Here, barf into my hand, so it doesn't get all over oh, the floor." Oh, that's really <laughs> wait. That's weird, but that's sweet too. Well, she was like rushing me to the toilet so I could barf into the toilet. Here, barf into my hand. But she was like, "No," and trying to blood. Well, she wasn't like. Here, son, this is where you should barf. You're going, no, you're going to fall off the cliff. Oh, my God. Go left. (laughs) She wasn't like, here, in my noble hand. She was just like, oh, God. (laughs) Trying to catch it. My dad would have been the exact opposite. He would have just, like, held me by the collar, like, at a full arm extension and just been like, go ahead. As long as you don't barf on my track suit. Uh, all over the place. I love it. Any CBS for oh, months. Ah, oh, oh God. Oh, I've seen this so clip so many times. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, no one. I gotta do my tax. <laughs> oh you? no! As you walked right in front. Oh, I'm sorry. God damn it. Oh, I'm gonna do it again. No. Here it goes. <laughs> He's right when He's rearing up. Oh, you are ju- you are on my list, homie. And oh, oh, good shot, Dan. Okay. That was nice. Oh, oh no, I got him. All right, cool. Oh, jeez, oh, no! I can't believe that happened this again. Is the worst. Better go yeah, see Shadow of the Colossus. I love this freaking game. God damn it! I can't. Look how fucking close he was to dying. He's the only guy that can make me feel good. God, you're like my fucking dad, just like crossing in front at like crucial moments. <laughs> uh, dad! Hi, Don! <laughs> and look what I found! A magazine from 1981! <laughs> just talk about Ooh. my dad for one second. Okay, go for it. Uh, just, done. You just reminded me. Don. You just reminded me. No, so I mean, done. Oh, you you oh, had your one second. So, oh. It's over. You're also like my dad in that respect. I'm sorry. <laughs> Using dropping humor bombs from 1973. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! I keep forgetting. All I was gonna say about my dad at the beginning was like, you did that thing he does where he gets like super like crazy and then he goes right back to normal out of nowhere. Uh-huh. He'll be like, Dad, I can't believe it! This, this, this is not our job. Hey, uh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to experience this because when you describe your dad. It just comes off to me as like a fucking cartoon character. You're not far off from the truth. And then I'm like, oh, he can't really be like that. And then he fucking is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you say, show me a voicemail, and it's like, bam! Ah! Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I mean, like, I love him. Like, we're, we're real close. Uh, and uh, he's a very sweet, awesome guy. But, like, there are so many times when, like, he'll say something, and my mom and I will just look at each other like, wow. <laughs> All wow. right. That's uh, that's the man you married and fathered me. <laughs> Great. Do you, oh no. Do you have any Splart. Deadisms? No. What like the things he says? Yeah, like you find yourself kind of being like, shit. Oh, I'm turning into my dad. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> We're so different. Mm-hmm. We're so like insanely different. No. Oh. Man. I really hope he blocks me on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are doing that thing. Oh, scarf cookie. So intense. Uh, Ross dog. Yeah. What am I doing that thing? Oh, oh, you're doing that thing my dad used to do where like he like he would start to get into a spiral. He doesn't really do it anymore. But when I was growing up, he would like talk about something that makes him mad and then actually get mad in the process <laughs> and just get get worse and worse. He'd be like, Don, you know you had so much time to do this. You had so much time. You had so much time. <laughs> it's like, oh man. Like, and it got, it would get to the point where I was like, oh man, here it comes, here it comes. And then what came? Uh, just a little hot blast of anger, and then he'd be fine. Oh. And he's like, okay, <laughs> let's let's <coughs> hang out now. <laughs> and you're like. <laughs> No, no, I had a, I had a real chill relationship with my dad. Uh, oh, speaking of crazy, uh, stupid um, vocabulary shit. Uh huh. Um, I went and visited my family. Uh huh. And my dad 
gave me some amazing some some pearls dropped out of his mouth yeah. <laughs> while I was there. Did you, did you make sure to write them down? You know I did. Um, so he was like, he, my dad, as I, I've mentioned before, was initially very skeptical about my life choices uh-huh. and <coughs> choices. And as things have worked out miraculously, just in time after uh, 15 years of not working out, um, he's totally come around and he's super into it and he's excited and he he just he loves everything about this. So he wants to learn more about Let's Plays uh-huh. um, because the concept is still sort of foreign to him. Right. Um, mm-hmm. and <laughs> so like he's asking me about like. He's like, I see, I see you have a friend, uh, Mark. And I was like, yeah, Markiplier. He's very cool. Like, he's, he's a buddy of ours. And he's like, what about the, the uh, Swedish guy? Uh, Pee Wee Didi? Pee Wee Didi? He's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've seen, Yeah, I've seen this one. Pee Wee Didi. <laughs> I was like, hi, guys. My name's Didi. <laughs> P e e w e e d i d i, Avi, is that what you're trying to say? Oh my God, Pee Wee Dee Dee. You might not, you might not be able to guess why they call me Pee Wee Dee Dee. <laughs> I'll give you a little hint. I'm three four, <laughs> but I'm full of spunk. Oh, it's the best. It's just amazing. Like everything he says, and so like, <clears throat> I, I mean. We we went through some stuff recently, and like we all needed a little bit of a break, and like, um, I was certainly like stressed out, and so the week at home was super good for me because I just hung out with friends, friends and family, and my, and my dad, dad comes in, I'm just lying, lying there watching TV, TV, and he's like, "It's, it's nice, nice to have you home." home. And I'm like, and "Thank you, Bobby. It's nice to be home." home. And he's like. It's, it's really, really good, good that, that you, you have, have a nice, nice uh, place, place that, that you can, can come and decompose and... Like, <laughs> decompose? You mean decompress? Decompress. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, fucking... No! It's like, yeah! You naturally <laughs> rot your body away. It's <laughs> <laughs> where you can die and then uh, re- return to the elements from which you came. <laughs> oh my god, a place where you can decompose. <laughs> Uh, and I was like, I- I'm laughing uncontrollably. And he's like, listen, uh, don't uh, say this on Game Grumps. <laughs> <laughs> Stop saying Too late. shit all the time. <laughs> I told him straight out. I was like, I have to. I have to share this. At one. this point, yeah. Do it, lobster. Yes. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, no, please don't. But secretly, he's like, yes. Yeah. But, uh, you know what? I think that's what it is, honestly. Because, like, because he's very... He's a very, very private guy, guy, you know, like, like he, he, he wouldn't want any, any like, um, anyone, anyone walking up to him and being like, hey, hey you're Avi, you, you know? know? But, but he, he secretly, secretly loves, loves, like, you know, you know being adored, adored online, <laughs> you know? I, 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 know I know he does. does. Oh, Spoopy is... Oh, oh Spoopy, well, because he's... world he, renowned. Yeah, yeah, when we, um, I visited my uncle and my grandma and he came with me and, uh, he played, um, he... He took out his phone and he played the, the spoofy animated the, <laughs> that someone did and like he's just smiling and so happy the entire time. It's it's great. It's great to watch. Yeah. And of course it led to a conversation with my mom and she like my mom like was an editor uh, when she was younger. So she's like a linguist and very like into language. So like no one loves the crazy shit my dad says more than she does <laughs> and she's been apparently writing them down for years really yeah oh no way and he was, and he was trying, trying to say like, like show like a secret, secret book that had like a lock on it and she's like i wanted to share this with you your whole life it, it, on the fridge there was a a, a post-it note of something he had said and it was uh he it, they were talking about something political and he he's like generally a moderate with like most of his thinking and so like he meant, he meant to say, to say like, like he, he was, was trying, trying to say, say like extremists, extremists aren't you know the way to go. <laughs> I know this one. Direction. And the, the actually <laughs> actually ended up saying was down yeah. with extremism. 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 Yeah, down with it. I'm tired of it. Oh, I love extremism. <laughs> <laughs> that is you and me and your dad were gonna have to. That needs to be a yeah, sticker. Yeah, me too. Extremism. <laughs> Everybody loves extremism, dude. <laughs> Down with the extremism. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? Like we need mandatory extremism sessions. Yeah, exactly. God, 
I, I often think, like, whenever I'm watching Pee Wee Dee Dee, it's so nice to have a place where I can decompose and just think about my extrusivism. That's very extrusivistic of you. <laughs> Slowly but surely, creating his own language. You can do it. You got something to eat. Um, thanks. Aww. If it was my dad playing this game, that E would stand for it. Uh, yeah! Bonus man. Boy, maybe people will stop going up there. I'll leave the details to you. I hope she gives me the rest of the armor. I think she gives me the pants. Are you on Lionel Safari? No. Lionel Country Safari. Located in Florida. I used to live right next to that place. Lion Country Safari. What is that? It's, it's like a zoo that you can drive through. With lions? And they'll just run up to your car. Oh, that's unsettling. No, it's cool. Really? Yeah, the giraffes will like reach their head inside your car and stuff. Well, that stuff I mean, you can just feed like, They had that at Six Flags Great Adventure in Jersey. Really? Yeah, the safari. That's cool. I don't know if they still do, but like, yeah, my dad fed like a monkey one time. You're not supposed to. <laughs> what could go wrong? And like, the fucking, and there's like thousand monkeys on our car, and then like within 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah, terrifying. That's awesome. Uh, well, I guess he learned his lesson then, right? Um, and then the next day he went back and fed more monkeys. Yeah, you kidding? <laughs> then, <laughs> he was fucking thrilled. Then he f grabbed the monkeys and fed them to the lions. Yeah. And then the day after, monkeys attacked a child for wanting food from him. I wonder where they got that idea from. It's a circle of life. The monkeys are just beating the crap out of him. <laughs> and it carries <laughs> us all. <laughs> <laughs> He's eating me! Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, my God. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that's going to do it. That's another one-third of the way through. Avi. I want I want some like bumper stickers. Down with extremism? Yeah. I want that too. Extremism, it's bad. I could make that bumper sticker. I could too. I always forget that I have like an iPad and Procreate and stuff and I yes. can just draw something and put it on like Redbubble. It's like down with extremism. Up with common sense. Uh I'm gonna make a bumper sticker that's Avi twenty twenty. Yes. I was yes. just driving here today, and there oh, was one God. in the front lawn of someone's house that said Jesus 2020, and then there was another one that was, like, on the other side of town. I came through the back way, and it said literally anybody 2020. You know you know who I want? I'm going to be perfectly honest here. Kanye? You know, no. You know who I want? Asteroid 2020. Slogan, just end it all. I'm in. Yeah. You got my vote. <clears throat> yeah. But, honestly, if you want to know who I'm voting for, um, none of the above. You know, I think that should be a thing. I think you want to know how you can get power back to the people? Make every election, literally every election, have a none of the above option. I mean, right, write-ins. No, no write-ins. Write-ins are one thing. But having a legit one that says, none of the above, try again... And you literally <laughs> have to go out and find other politicians. Literally try again. Yes. Can I reshuffle? Yeah, exactly. No, because here's the thing. Whenever it comes down to it, we the people have no choice in the matter. Truly, we don't. Whenever it comes to the main election, what we need is none of the above. Because if we vote none of the above, then guess what? They gotta try and do someone else. There's not enough people that would do it to make it like a beneficial addition, though. I I people just want are that stupid option, and they're gonna. I <clears throat> I can't say that while we're recording, but I'll tell you. And um, what people are stupid? I know this. No, people are gonna vote for someone just to piss other people off at a certain point. Yeah, it's eventually. Well, what it's come to at this point is just like. I don't like this person. I'm going to vote for this person just to piss those people off. Or I don't agree with everything that person says, <clears throat> so I'm going to vote for the other one and then like laugh about it, basically. Yeah. I, 
again, it's politics. This is why I don't discuss politics on the channel. They also, didn't they literally come out and say that uh, Clinton would have won the last election if people hadn't wrote in Harambe? I'd... Like, I'm pretty sure that was an actual statistic someone calculated. Well, it depends. <laughs> it really depends. But because... it was like if those people had voted for Clinton, I'm pretty sure. Well, people, well, that's the th same thing in Texas. Ron Paul got a vote in Texas because of because people wrote Ron Paul in so many times in Texas. I think the big unfor and it's unfortunate, but with the system we have, there's not really much we can do about it. People are gonna always stick to those two options that they're given, unless exactly, it, which is which is again so why I don't vote. Unfortunately, you have to just pick the lesser of the two evils yeah and it sucks uh, i don't like it i don't agree with it but that's how it is i don't even like, vote for the lesser of two evils because there are no lesser of two evils we're all getting fucked by the well, same we're getting people. one of the two so i might as well pick the one that i prefer you know what i mean but there's really no one to prefer there ha to me last time i voted was the first time i voted 2008 and honestly i voted and i was so happy with my vote and then all of a sudden 2012 rolls around and i'm just like Nothing's changed. Literally nothing has changed. And I'm just, ever since then, I've just been like, I am in objection of this whole system. I am, I am choosing to literally do something better with my time than waste it, you know, going down and voting for something that, honestly, I don't believe in. It's a lot like being forced to go to a church that you don't like going to. I'm not doing it. It's sucky, but, like... That's all I can really do about it, so it's just what I do. <laughs> yeah, well, if you want to vote, vote, but me, I'm not going to vote. I, you don't hear people uh, tell people not to vote very often, Nate. I, I feel like everywhere I look now, it's don't remember to vote, remember to vote. Yeah, of course it. it is, because don't it's a fucking... Don't vote. <laughs> of course it is, because it's a fucking racket. That's all it is. It's like, be sure to vote. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's one side or the other. They're going to tell you, hey, make sure to vote. That's it. But... It's going to be one of the two, and that's just how it is, we, even with all the write-ins and blah, 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 so. Yeah, well, either way. Anyway, this this uh, was uh, Dan's dad funny moments with uh, with the Game Grumps. Uh, <laughs> this is part two of three, so make sure to stay tuned for the finale. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, see. you'll get the finale in about two or three months. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, bye!